Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and I want to show you how I can refine detail in a macro photography image. Now, this is where this particular photo started, and here's where I took it. Let me walk you through the overall changes. We'll start by resetting this image, and I'm developing using Luminar 4. This works as both an app and a plugin. From the Basics tab, I'll go ahead and take advantage of Accent AI to even out the exposure and you see how some of the shadowy areas are nicely filled in. The key here though is AI structure. This allows you to improve the dynamic range and just look at how it fills in that texture there on the side of the cups. So much nicer and really brings that to life. Plus with the boost, we can dial it in. Furthermore, you can use Details Enhancer to sharpen as needed and play with the controls there on the details. But as I start to bring that out, and I like it here, I don't like the effect it's having in the background, emphasizing details. So every filter actually controls itself with a mask. So I can use a gradient mask here and just click and drag, and it makes it simple to dial that in. So if we look at that, we see the mask. And that's pretty cool. And I'll click Done. But let's try switching that. And you see now it applies just to the foreground and not the background. So that's a really cool change there. All right, that feels pretty good. And what I want to do now is switch on over to the creative section. This is where I could take advantage of other options like dramatic to improve the starkness of the image. But let's bring the color back up with the saturation slider. And now with image radiance, we can add a little bit of a nice glow. Just subtle there and put a little bit into the shadows as well. That looks great. Now, if you want, and add a new adjustment layer, and this gives you the flexibility to play with other choices. For example, we can use the color enhancer here to warm things up a bit, making the warm areas warmer and the cool areas cooler. And that worked quite nicely. Or in this case, let's just balance that down there. Feels a little bit better. In fact, I'll actually switch that, warming up the cool areas and cooling down just a little bit the warm areas. Nice. And a little bit of improved color contrast dials that in for increased dynamic range. Using the advanced contrast, I can also recover some of the detail in the highlights. So it gives me a lot of flexibility. And then you've got choices for Photo filters here, if you'd like to introduce new color or split toning for the shadows and the highlights, giving you great overall control. All right, that feels really cool. I'm just gonna come back here to the creative section and introduce a little bit of a texture and navigate to a texture that I've downloaded. You see it starts to layer that in and you can play easily with the opacity here and under the advanced settings, dial in the overall brightness and contrast that you want. That's a small change, but I like how it's introducing a little bit of texture there into the flat areas, giving it a bit more of a painterly look. Let's finish that off with a gentle vignette. We'll pull that in, but choose the subject here right in the foreground. Now we can really dial that in and even play with the inner light for the center and the feather for the gradual transition, as well as shape, giving us a very solid custom vignette. So before and after, and you see so much more brought to life in the texture and the depth.